Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on Jurassic Collectibles. As you might see, the setting is different today and that is because I'm in a very special location. JC, why don't you say hello? Hello! Tom, Tom's here for the first time in my collection room. I am! It's been awesome taking a look around. We might have a couple of photos that I'll stitch in now to give you a look at some of the things that are here. Obviously you've seen them on the channel before, but you might want to take another look. Um, but today we have got something very, very special. So, JC, I'm, I'm handing over to you. This okay. is your baby. So, uh, essentially this is Alan Grant's Raptor Claw from Jurassic Park. This is one of the hero prompts. And uh, this was an acquisition from, uh, I got this in 2022, and uh, I have since screen matched this piece, and uh, it is the claw scene at the base of the tree when Alan Grant chucks the claw from the tree. <laughs> um, and uh, I've got like a little, I've got a little drawer here with some documents inside, and this kind of I, I shot the claw from a similar angle and basically found all of the features that mean that this is a screen matched prop from the film and essentially I wanted you to come here Tom to, to see it it's and so to, cool. to hold uh, the, the raptor claw from Jurassic Park today. It's, so it's shall very we, exciting, shall we open let's it do it. Here we go. So oh, here wow. it is. <laughs> so when I first got the claw I wanted something to display it in so I fashioned this uh, this wooden box. Uh, to keep it, it in It looks so good. I love the drawer as well and the way yeah. you've got your physical material in it. Yeah, I've got like... If I just bring the camera around a little bit, we little can show people the drawer. So uh, you can see just there. But essentially, I, I won this piece at auction and at the time, uh, they didn't really specify which scene or where it was from. But I saw a few features on it that kind of put me onto it being the, the claw that you see at the base of the tree. And I kind of took a punt on it. When it arrived, I, I lit it in the same way and, and found the, the screen match details in both sculpt and, and paint job that made, made me absolutely certain that this is the claw you see. This is the one. At the base of the tree. It so, is the one. Tom, be my guest, you can pick it up. I'm going to, uh, if it's okay, I'm going to grab it by this. Yeah. Just so I can bring it closer to the oh, camera. Yeah, of course. So you can see that there. And that's actually the side that it's pictured in, in the film as well. I make sure that the. Uh, the claw is, is displayed. And just for peace of mind, everybody, my fingers are only touching the plastic down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You can see all of the detail in it. You can see that. So talk us through the marks. Where are the marks on it that distinguish it as being that screen-used piece? So one of the things I felt was really important is when it this first arrived is that I had to kind of light it in the same way because yeah. in the film it's kind of lit harshly from, from the back. Yeah. And those kind of sculptural details would, would kind of show up and ping in a certain way that if I lit it similarly, they would, they would show up. So I did that first, got the lighting roughly similar. And then there's some sculptural details along the inside of the claw here, yeah. also down the kind of trench part down the middle. There's also some paint scuffs along the body of the claw uh, that made me 100% sure that this is, this is the claw seen at the base of the tree. And um, it's in really good condition for its it age. Is. I mean, it's incredible. It's got some kind of paint scuffs, which you know are normal for for production wear. This is actually came from a crew member who worked on Jurassic Park, so it's only had one previous owner, and that previous owner actually worked on the film. So I, I know, combined with the provenance and the screen match, that this is. This is 100% of the real deal. This is the one. And what's interesting is a few claws have come up for, for auction over the years, probably the same ones again a few times. Um, I know of three in the wild, so this is one of three. Wow. Um, one of them has been auctioned off and I believe is probably the claw that Grant holds when he, when he kind of threatens the kid. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's one claw. <laughs> This is the base of the tree claw, and I can be 100% certain that it's the one used in that shot. It may have been used in other shots, but that's the hero shot that I can identify yeah. because of those screen match details. And then there's one more claw that I know of, which I believe was the claw chucked from the tree. <laughs> so in the shot before, that's actually, a, I think, yeah. a different claw again. 
uh, but this one is, is the one you see at the base of the tree. It may be used in other shots in the film because it's quite, quite possible that happened. Now, I guess this would have been one used There's in the... There's the chance that Sam Neill might have even had it in his pocket at yeah. points during filming, right? Yeah, Which because they, would, really they cool. would have cast multiples for the film. That's yeah. it. But as far as I know it, the ones that survived and are in collector's hands or owner's hands, there's three in the wild. So this is yeah. one of three that I know of. Um, but yeah, be my guest. I mean, pick it Amazing, up and have a look. Yeah. We've got blue. I, d- I don't want to hold so. it. Like no, it's fine. You go ahead, pick it up. And and what I think is interesting about wow. it is, it's uh, when I first held it, I noticed it was heavier. Yeah. Than I expected. It's got quite a heft to it. What's it made out of? I think it's a resin, but it feels cold to touch. Maybe it's a cold cast resin. Yeah. But it could just be the the kind of the qualities of the resin, and that's the side that you see. When Alan Grant is in the helicopter and yeah. he holds up the claw and, and Ian Malcolm quizzes him and says, so you guys uh, dig up dinosaurs? What's interesting about the sculpt is that one side appears more geometric and hard-edged yeah. and one side appears kind of softer. That side appears more softer and bone-like. Now, in the shots I've identified in the film, I don't know if this is a coincidence, but when he loves paleontology, and he's enthusiastic about it. Oh wow! You see more of the soft yeah. side, and then when he casts the claw away, and it's it this harder the base, side. It's this hard, cold. So it's almost that side. transition of it's the character's like reflection. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like I, that. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. I mean, it's possible that this is just a flat side that laid on a table and it just came out that way. <laughs> but what that is a, absolutely incredible. I, I've, I've talked to people involved with the production. Stan Winston Studios didn't make this claw. It was made by the props department. And um, I've spoken to a few people. That I've spoken to the, the chief sculptor on Jurassic Park, and he admits that he did make some claws, and there were multiples cast of it. I can't be 100% sure that it was him who sculpted it. But there has been some suggestion that they got it from a museum, like a paleontology museum. But I don't think that's the case, because I've looked at this claw, and it looks similar to eagle talons. That's the closest thing that this claw looks you know that's the closest object i can find and i don't think museums would have had something like that in their display because it's not very fossil like i I mean i don't know for sure it could have been something that they got from a museum but my gut says that this was hand sculpted and i think the chief sculptor sculpted it and then they cast multiples for production this is just one of the ones that walked off the set and maybe because it's that shot where it falls at the base of the tree it was a, maybe a second unit because they wouldn't have needed the main actors there and therefore it was easier for this hero prop to walk off the set yeah. <laughs> and that's probably why this one survived and is in such good condition it's in incredible condition yeah, yeah. so yeah there it is that is the alan grant's raptor claw from jurassic it's amazing. park it it's, is incredible it's it's also amazing how imperfect it is like yeah. it's, it's not you know it's not a perfect claw it's wobbly I love how much more daintily you handle it than I do. I was like so nervous with it and you're just like, yeah, here we go. I mean, it's meant to be handled and seen, (laughs) so it's amazing to have something like this, you know, a screen news prop and the one you see on screen, the hero prop. So, yeah, it's it's quite a pleasure and and a, a... an honour to own something that's um, seen on screen. It's incredible to see it. Why don't you just talk us through one more time what you've got in the drawer for the physical material as well. um, I've got the the screen match document, which, uh, you know, highlights all of the the details. The sculptural and paint. There's there's this one in particular, this detail on on the claw. It looks like a tree branch. Oh, wow. And you can only see it if you light it in that way. It's exactly the same on this. Yeah. Then you've got this this nick about you know quarter of the way down. It's exactly the same nick. And then you've got this kind of sculptural bump yeah. down the middle here. And you can and see it. Out you, of can focus see it. There. you can yeah. see it. Yeah. And then you've got these paint nicks here. The two exact same yeah. ones here. So this is these are screen matches that conclusively say that this, this is, is what the it same, is. Yeah. The same prop. And actually, when you hold it up and look at it in this versus this shot, you can yeah. see straight away it is this this hero prop. So that's the feature matches document, which I felt was fairly important. Then I've got some screen matched, um, sorry, some screen grabs from the film. So I've got the moment when Alan's holding it. Although this isn't the same claw here, it's the one that falls down. I know conclusively yeah. is this same one. And then I've just got another 
shot just in case I, and I forgot which shot it's from. And then I've got a little envelope here that just says Razor Claw. Oh, nice. um, and I think it's just got oh, it's just got a cutout because when I was oh, wow. when I was placing this claw on here, I wanted something to represent how big it would look yeah. when I was making the wooden box. That's awesome. So I just printed out an image and and, and used that as a <laughs> as a placeholder. But I decided to keep that because it's like a little that. souvenir. It's a nice part of the process, isn't it? Exactly. But I had yeah. a joy making this little box. I mean, I it's so cool. I I learned a bit about um, making veneers. This is a walnut. Burr veneer. Oh wow! So I, I, you don't see it, funny enough. <laughs> but can I just lift it? Yeah, sure. I just felt I wanted to make a box that was kind of fitting for, for the claw to have on display. Something that had a sort of, almost an archaeological dig, secondhand, antiquey look to it. If that makes sense, like something you'd find in Alan Grant's caravan. Yeah. So yeah, that's. What I think it saying. definitely has that feel to it. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, so that was good fun to make that. And then I already, I actually already had this acrylic box, funnily enough, for displaying it's something It's almost else. as if it was meant to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I just ordered the wood to, to fit, and luckily it all fit and came together. I'll just, um, what I tend to do is put it on display so I can view it like it's the shot from the film. I like that. So I just yeah. pop it on there. and But yeah, I just, this thing is just... It's incredible. It blew my mind, and yeah. there will be a separate video where... I opened this for the first time and I've, cool. I've, I've I'm looking forward to seeing I've that. I've filmed that, I've documented I'm looking that. forward to seeing you freaking out about opening yeah. it for the first time. <laughs> Honestly, Tom, the, I'm, I'm, I was just like you picking it up. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. And, it, you know, I, I noticed some of the details in the auction pictures, but when I actually screen matched it, I was losing it because I yeah. was just like, this is a hero. It's the close up claw, it's the one that gets the most kind of closest camera angle, it's the yeah. beauty shot of the claw essentially in the film. And it also represents that emotional climax in the film where Alan Grant has basically said, you know, my career choice paleontology is now redundant. It's over. Because yeah. they, they've they cloned dinosaurs and brought them back from extinction, so what's the point in me doing yeah. archaeology, doing paleontology anymore? And I just think that's such a poignant moment to have this claw from. I mean, I would have loved the one when he, at the beginning when he's threatening the kid as well. Well, hey, never say never, this, right? Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is as well, the prop market has, like, ballooned, like, prices have gone ridiculous. Yeah. I was very fortunate to get this one at a very reasonable price. Um, so, yeah, and I think that's mainly due to the fact that the, the, the there were a few sold around that time, and maybe people didn't know which part it was from what in more confirmation of the provenance but i've been able to establish that stuff afterwards and the yeah. screen match is what really makes this thing valuable now so uh it's incredible i never thought in my lifetime i'd own anything like no. this and it really is just an honor i'm a custodian of this thing you know we, yeah. li we live and we die we we go away and this thing lives on for this period of so time this period this, of history just to yeah. own it is is an honor <laughs> yeah yeah, I'm so glad you were able to come. It's been awesome, yeah. It. It's been so cool seeing it. Right, um, I think we can wrap that up then. Yeah, but that yeah. has been awesome. So, like, favourite, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. JC, would you like to give us another thumbs up to take us out of the video? There we go. See you later, guys. Take care.